So let's get started on the issue of inflation. And KRDO's Heather Skold has that first question. The 10 counties in Colorado experiencing persistent poverty are in the southern part of our state. They include the counties of Bent, Castilla, Rio Grande, Conejos, Otero, Prowers, Sawatch, Alamosa, Crowley, and Fremont. That's where the median household income is less than $38,000. Food pantries are reporting unprecedented demand with food prices that are largely reliant on fertilizer and fuel. How do we reverse inflation for those who cannot make ends meet? Mr. O'Day, we start with you. Well, thanks for having me here tonight. It starts with the reckless spending that we've seen by Bennett and Biden over the course of the last two years. 1.9 trillion dumped into the market with a rescue plan. Michael Bennett, he doesn't get any results. He dumped $1.9 trillion into our economy that's caused record inflation. Compound that with a war on energy fully backed by Michael Bennett, Joe Biden, that's caused record inflation on gas and diesel prices, directly reflected in the fertilizer price that's caused this record inflation. Until we end the war on diesel, the frivolous spending and the government intervention. They don't talk about all the red tape that's been put on our economy. That's got to stop. We need that to stop to get in front of this record inflation. And Mr. Bennett. Thank you, Heather. Those, the families that you're talking about in the San Luis Valley and on the eastern plains of Colorado and the counties that you listed are among the poorest, are, live in, among the poorest counties in our state. And I have been fighting very hard since the time I got to Washington to try to move away from the trickle-down economics that Joe Day supports so strongly and instead try to do something for working people who have been living in an economy for 50 years, even before this inflation, where they felt like they couldn't get their families moving ahead. So my child tax credit, for example, last year would have meant that every one of those families would be receiving $450 a month right now to pay for groceries, to pay for uh, to the rent, to, to, to be able to buy school, uh, school clothes for their kids. That's the, that's the difference between me and Joe Day. I'm for fighting for that. That's why I want to go back to make that tax credit permanent. He wants to make tax cuts for, for the Donald Trump pass for the wealthiest people in America permanent. 